Today, let's take a closer look at the current state of some of my ant colonies. But first, let's check in on the queens. Recently, there's been both good and bad news. Sadly, the queen ant didn't make it. She lay motionless for days, even consuming her own eggs almost as if she knew her time was up. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support me. The third queen ant hasn't shown any major changes, her egg count remains the same. However, a small cocoon has mysteriously appeared on her leg. Is this a good sign or a bad omen? The fourth one seems to have laid a few more eggs, possibly after reabsorbing the old ones to regain strength. Either way, this looks like a promising sign. Finally, this queen ant now has everything eggs, larvae, and pupae. Some of the larvae have even hatched. For nearly two months, these eggs showed almost no signs of development, but now, more than half have transformed into larvae. This is an incredible breakthrough. At one point, I was ready to give up and let nature take its course, but now there's still hope. Maybe I'll borrow some eggs and larvae from another colony to give the rest a little boost. This queen ant currently has just one egg and a tiny larva. Another one remains the same, with only two larvae. However, a colony deep in the mountains is thriving, boasting a full set of eggs, larvae, and pupae, making it one of the stronger colonies. Right now, there are six pupae, and I'm hoping they all develop smoothly. But there's one little troublemaker in the colony, its larvae just won't spin their cocoons. This morning, there were still two curled up pupae, but now both have been devoured, leaving only two larvae behind. If this keeps up, I might have to try an experimental setup and raise them on a concrete grass surface to see what happens. Another ant colony was thriving with eggs and larvae, but rising temperatures wiped them out. I've lost hope for new eggs now. I just want them to survive. If they last another month or two, I'll try adjusting their environment. I've had this big-headed ant colony for months, always meaning to care for them properly but ending up neglecting them. Now they come in two colors, black and brown, making them quite interesting. This ant colony, originally from Turkey and purchased just last year, has been thriving exceptionally well. The newly emerged worker ants start off with a striking orange hue, which gradually transforms into a vibrant red after just a few days. This brilliant color remains for a long time, only darkening into a deep red as they age. They look absolutely stunning, definitely a must-have for any ant-keeping enthusiast. Due to time constraints, I couldn't film as carefully as I'd like this time. The angles and lighting weren't perfect, and I didn't even wipe the dust off the glass. But trust me, it looks absolutely stunning in person. Next time, when I have more time, I'll make sure to capture it in even greater detail. This Turkish ant colony is incredibly affordable, yet it looks even better than some of the expensive ones. It just goes to show that local ant species offer unbeatable value. The new small colonies are growing in test tubes with three workers, eggs, and larvae. They're stunning, but hard to film well for now. Once they move to a nesting box, I'll capture them in detail. These little black ants have some larvae, but no new workers are hatching, and I have no idea why. Both colonies have the same issue. Maybe it's the high temperature. They used to be easy to raise, but now it's a mystery. This is my Japanese ant colony, and some of them have stuffed themselves full, looking absolutely stunning. They're growing fast, with a stable number of eggs, larvae, and pupae, making for a thriving and healthy colony. At the moment, I'm observing this colony of Japanese ants, and they're developing quite evenly. There are plenty of eggs, larvae, and pupae, all thriving. At this rate, I'm confident that within a month, the test tube will be completely filled, and we'll need to move them to a new nest. As of now, none of the worker ants have turned red, yet they're still all pitch black. I wonder, when the time comes to switch their nest, will we finally see some red workers? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget subscribe to my channel and support me.